the way um, I personally think about blockchains is you can have single-use blockchains. Those come with a network. Uh, Bitcoin would be the first example of this. So you have a Bitcoin network, which is secured um, by the mining process, which is quite costly, but it's effective because miners are greedy. So you secure the network in that way. Plus, you get um, a use case. So in the Bitcoin use case, it's payments or value storage. You can also translate this into something like Filecoin, where you have a public network, and then you have uh, transfer of information and file storage. Then you have multi-use blockchains. This was the really interesting innovation that Vitalik Buterin came up with in his um, yellow paper on Ethereum. And our founder, Joe Lubin, helped him in kind of setting up the Ethereum blockchain. What it does is it gives you that public network, but you also have a developer environment. So now you can start writing smart contracts in that development environment and doing all sorts of use cases, replicating business processes in many different environments, going beyond just payments or value store to the if-then statements, which you were talking about, which are important for securities, and you can use it in any industry. And then the third one is an enterprise blockchain. That's not going to come with a public network. You still have to set up your own private network but it's got that developer environment, and you can set up the private network in any way that you would like. So within a consortium with other banks or other asset managers who you are interacting with day to day. Um, and because you don't need to secure a public network, you can decrease some of the incentives to keep it secure. So you don't need to have so much computational power going into consensus. So you can speed up the transaction volume, which is why uh, a lot of private blockchains are running many more transactions per second than you could do on private. I think why, why, so then the second question is very interesting. Why do you use a blockchain? Why can't you just use another system? Already a private blockchain is blurring the lines, and you have a continuance. So you have a public blockchain which has many, many nodes, which are global, completely decentralized, controlled by anyone. Anyone can participate in this blockchain. As you go all the way to the other end of the spectrum, you have a single database system. Um, you can have two nodes in a system, and now you start getting a distributed database. Uh, if there are any technologists in this crowd, this would be um, things like React or um, Cassandra from Apache. And there's a whole continuation from one node, which is a single database, all the way through to your public. By no means should you always be using a many, many node system blockchain. Because sometimes you only need the data for yourself. You don't need to share data. If that's the case, you should just have a database for yourself. If you start need to inter needing to interact with other people or having tokenized assets, digital in nature, or physical assets which become tokenized, and want to write statements, if-then statements, or smart contracts around them, now blockchains become more and more exciting. So you need to look for those cases where it makes sense.